have an announcement. It's right here at the top. And the announcement is that this is video number two, the second video that we're having for the year. You'll also see that the announcement is blank because I don't really have any announcements. But from this video on, I want to try to make like a similar video format thing. So we'll always start with announcements first. Cool? The second part, uh, every, everything's going to have a warm-up. So we'll do announcements, warm-up, and then kind of the main chunk of our class will be after that warm-up. Normally, the warm-up will be playing your instrument, one of these things, and you'll, you'll actually be doing it. Moving around on the instrument and, and learning it that way. But we don't all have instruments yet, so I don't want to worry about that. Put, put your instrument away. If you've got it out, you don't need it. This warm-up exercise is called... I don't have a name for it yet. What should we call it? I don't know. This warm-up exercise is called the Body Percussion Blues. So, later on, we're going to learn the open string blues. But you need an instrument in order to have open strings to play on. So, we need to come up with body percussion. We're going we're gonna to start with, like, moving. Remember, I told you in your practice space, it has to be open so that you moving around sometimes. This is a moving exercise. We're going to start with a stomp. Let's stomp eight times. Now in the classroom, normally I say that and we do it all together and everybody's counting. And at the end, there's always that one kid that does nine and everybody looks at him and laughs. I'm willing to bet that here with you sitting there in your bedroom or at your kitchen table or whatever, I bet nobody does a ninth one. Happen, ready? Here we go. Eight stops. A one, two, ready, go. Did you do it or did you do the extra nine? One more time. Eight stops. So one, two, ready, go. Now we move up our body. We're gonna do a pat. We did stomps, now we do pat. Eight pats, and then eight claps, and then eight snaps. If you can't snap, just fake it because nobody's watching you right now. One, two, here's our stomp. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now a pat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, a stop. Pat. Clap. And snap. One more time. So we'll start that way, most of these videos. Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Over the last two or three days, I've gotten a few emails and a, a couple of them are questions that keep coming up over and over again. So I probably already answered this for you in your email if you were the one asking it, but it was a good question 
that everybody probably wants to know. So let's go over some frequently asked questions. I was like a teenager before I realized what FAQ stood for. I was kind of embarrassed once I figured it out. I was like, oh, U-Haul trucks though. I was still in like third grade when I thought whatever the picture was on the U-Haul truck was what was inside the U-Haul truck. And then one day I saw like one with like a dinosaur on it. And I was like, there's a dinosaur inside there? Maybe it was going to a museum with fossils, right? All right, but uh, whatever. But then I saw one with like a live shark on it. And I knew like, there's no way. I was old enough to realize that a U-Haul truck wasn't watertight but I still thought it was like driving around with water in it. What? U-Haul trucks are just moving vans. They got a bunch of people's junk in them. Okay, anyway, frequently asked questions. Can I play my number one choice instrument? I think most of you figured this out by now, but yeah, I, I don't care. Violin, viola, cello, you pick your instrument and you play it, you're cool. When we get back to real life school, maybe you decide you want to switch to a in different instrument. I don't know, that's cool. Maybe January comes along and you decide, you know what, I've given the viola a try and I don't like it, let's do the cello. Uh, you know, that's cool, I'm fine with switching. There's some challenges with it, but if I'm flexible and if you're good at practicing and doing your stuff, cool, let's do it. When do I need to have an instrument by? Soon, this whole class, starting on Monday the 3rd, so August 3rd, I'm gonna like open up the whole course and you're gonna do it at your own pace. Um, so try to have it by Monday if you wanna get started when everybody else does. Uh, but if it takes you a couple weeks before you get to a music store, I get it. You'll be a little bit behind in the game and a little bit behind in, in videos and stuff but it's all posted here on Canvas, so you can catch up and move at your own pace. But yeah, we were starting playing on Monday. Cool. Can I stand? If you are a violin, or a viola, yeah, you can stand. But if you're a cello player, No, no, you can't, you can't stand. I... Sorry, cellos. I'm not sorry though, it's just how cellos work. What are the instruments? Hopefully by now you've figured out they're violin, viola, cello. In sixth grade, later on, after you've played these for a while, I'm gonna let you audition to play the bass, the big one, it's, it's big, it's a lot harder and different to play. It's, it's not harder to play, but it's different than the other three instruments. And the last question, you never actually told us how to play this game thing. So how do we play this game thing? That's what the rest of this video is gonna be about. So this video here that you're watching currently is on a page, right? If you found it, you found the page. Awesome, that page is part of a bigger module. And, and I know my Coronado kids right now are making fun of me for talking with my hands a lot. And uh, you know what? You're the one that's probably sitting there in your bedroom right now going like this, watching the screen. So who's really the goofy looking one, you know? Uh, anyway, it's part of a bigger module. So this page has the information and the video. When you scroll down, there's a little arrow. That arrow is gonna take you into the files that are my little game I've assembled here. So I'm gonna read through them on this, this video thing while you guys look at the files and the picture. They're pictures, but they're loaded into Canvas as files. Um, at the end of that, there's a little assignment that I'm going to talk about 
in the next video because I still haven't made the assignment yet. Let's, let's go and um, I'm gonna hit that little arrow now to switch over to the slides. Don't hit it yet because then this video will stop playing. Cool. Welcome to the Amazon. You are about to embark on a once in a lifetime journey that will take you deep into the South American rainforest as we travel the length of the second longest river in the world. Along the way, you'll experience interactions with the locals, your classmates, and of course, the relentless power of the Amazon River. As you travel, you will gain the energy and experience that will give you the skills you need to conquer the current and master your instrument. A river is a symbol of calmness and uncertain things happening in life. The calm waters of the river's surface represents peace while the strong undercurrent Invisible from above represents the unseen challenges around you. The power of a river is relentless. It won't stop for you or anyone else. You can fight the river, but it will eventually put you where it pleases. When you learn to work with the river's current, you'll find it will take you to where you were meant to go all along. Music is often representative of calmness and uncertain things happening in life. The beauty of music's melody represents peace, while the relentless momentum of harmony felt through human emotions represents the unseen challenges around you. The power of music is relentless. It won't stop for you or anyone else. You can fight the music, but it will eventually put you where it pleases. When you learn to work with the music's flow, you'll find it will take you where you were meant to go all along. In 2020, the world faced something we had never seen before, a worldwide pandemic in a digital age. This is one man's attempt to teach children how to make music in 2020. Like everyone else's attempt, there's no guarantee that this is going to work, but we're gonna try our best to not fall off this little boat we're in, because piranhas. This online orchestra class is presented to students in the form of a game. As students work through the exercises in their books, they will make their way down the Amazon River, collecting points along the way. The object of the game is to navigate the full length of the Amazon River. By playing your instrument, you will unlock interactions with locals, giving you the energy and experience needed to be successful on your journey both on the river and in a rehearsal. We begin our journey in Iquitos, Peru. Each of you begin with $5,000, a backpack with a handful of energy bars, and a full night's sleep. Before you embark, you must fill out your paperwork. Every fun adventure has paperwork. Every student must fill out a profile before beginning their journey. You will choose a name, different from your real name, to be used when tracking your progress and rankings. Your real name will never be published online for others to see. However, your in-game name will be available for all students to see. You will also need to decide how much money you would like to have converted into foreign currency to be used in each country. The profile paperwork will walk you through the exchange rates and math. Don't worry if you don't exchange enough or if you exchange too much. You will have the opportunity to exchange money at banks in cities and towns throughout the journey. 
The Amazon River runs through three South American countries, Peru, Colombia, and Brazil. We'll be spending most of our time in Peru and Brazil, but there's a small stretch of river that runs along the border of Peru and Colombia. You will need a passport if you plan on stepping foot on the Colombian riverbanks. A Colombian passport is 300 US dollars and can only be purchased at the start of the game. Thinking about checking out the Colombian scenery without one? Better do it from your boat. You'll stand a better fight against the jaguars on the Peruvian side of the water. Before you can leave Iquitos, you must have filled out your profile and have everything you need in real life to successfully play and record your instrument. Your teacher will likely provide you with a list of everything you need to get started. Upon completion of your profile, your teacher will roll a six-sided die. This number represents how many energy bars you get to start with in your backpack. At the start of the game, you are able to hold up to 10 items that can help you on your way. I really don't know what the deal with that guy's voice was. As always, shoot me an email if you got any questions. That next video about how to do the profile is coming soon. Bye!